Tonight they're calling for more rain and or snow. So, uh, don't have a choice but to get out here and get after it, do what we can do. So, let's go do this. Well, we got a busy day ahead of us. Uh, we came out here yesterday and kind of changed our mind on where we're gonna put the high tunnel. It was originally gonna be more to this side of the fence. Now it's gonna be more that side of the fence. Down through here, we had tomatoes all along this row uh, where you see the cattle panels and T-post. We're gonna put the high tunnel more that direction. It's been super wet. It, uh, honestly, it still is, but tonight, tonight they're calling for more rain and or snow. So, uh, don't have a choice but to get out here and get after it, do what we can do. I don't have a lot of room to maneuver in this space with the tractor. Uh, the more I run around on all this stuff out here, the wetter it's gonna get. It's just gonna pull moisture up out of the ground. I'd really like to leave the soil in the center of where the high tunnel's gonna be so I can use it in the beds in there. So I'm gonna bump from that side over to this side, which is the higher side, and start trying to get my area a little flatter some of this high area I'll move down there but uh just really need to get this get this done so we can start setting post so time to get back at it
these side pins or staples. That's one of my fears while being in here with the tractor and ripping up all the old stuff. And if you can see what I'm doing out here, where I'm slicking that soil down, if you're fortunate enough to have a tractor that you can do this, but if you're dealing with a lot of wet weather and you can get that about where you want it, then flatten your bucket and get that soil slicked down, the rain will run off before it soaks in. Okay, this really <clears throat> didn't turn out too bad, as wet as it was. The side up here was already pretty good on the higher side. <clears throat> Excuse me, but uh, yeah, it was, it was really wet down here. I might bring our utility vehicle in and roll it down. If I don't get some of this a little more solid, it'll turn into a mud pit with rain, so I need to pack it down a little more. And I uh, just don't need anything as heavy as the tractor is. Okay, I got all this rolled down with our Kawasaki mule. And uh, it's far enough along, I could probably start determining the four corners uh, of the high tunnel. When you build a fence, if this was your corner post, you take a two by four, actually get it behind the string on this, on each end. Then as you go down to set your post, you have a third two by four that you run between your string and the post you're setting. And once you get that post to where this block is touching your string, you're good reason for that going down through there and trying to set post against the string itself you'll push that string one way or the other uh, if you push it just a little bit with your first one then or if you're on that side pulling this way if you move it too much then your next one's going to be further out and it's going to keep doing that so this is just a way to keep that down through there straight i just can't do it 
on this pipe. So that's the reason I ran the lower line as well, just to uh, help keep me true down through there. What y'all doing? Look how big you are. You're a monster. Look at you guys. Our neighbor saw that one chicken from a distance and asked if we had a turkey down here. Well, Sunday, the uh, National Weather Service said for us that we could see up to four inches of snow Monday evening. Then it turned to rain changing to snow then it changed to rain, and so as I stated yesterday, I was concerned about getting as much done out here as possible. We got no rain. I mean, I'm, I'm glad of that, uh, but are they, not them, them local forecasters, do they depend on computer models too much anymore? Uh, really hard sometimes to get accurate forecast you just have to watch and uh, almost decide for yourself anyhow got a bunch of posts in I've hit rock with a lot of those uh, those are the sidewall posts for the, for the greenhouse Hear my fan blade over there. Uh, I'll show you that in just a minute. But uh, anyhow, yeah, I'm gonna have to come back. Uh, I'll get a I'll get a sight level and set it up and shoot these, and I'll have to cut them off, which means I'm gonna have to redrill all these holes down through there. There's my family. I need to get some uh, need to get some bearings to put in there. I made about five of those. They're pretty cool when they get going. But anyhow, yeah, I'm gonna have to, uh, like I say, I'm gonna have to Set up a sight level, mark the pipe, cut them all off evenly. Um, and it's just going to slow down a little bit. It would have been nice if they could have all gone right in where I needed them to and been able to just bolt this thing back together, but it's just not going to be that simple. So that's it for today been pretty breezy uh, but at least we didn't get that rain or snow I guess that's part of artificial intelligence uh, yeah where are they gonna be with AI when it comes to growing food being self-sufficient I think we need to teach the world or teach as many as we can what we're doing share what we know I'd love to see more and more even as the as much as the homesteading is uh, exploding or as popular as it's getting I think that's a great thing but I'll touch on that on another video so I'm done out here in the garden for today and uh, thanks for spending a little time with me